take her home. I brought her to my farm in an Amish neighborhood where simple living's valued. She'd be loved and understood. I put her on a treadle stand and coaxed her wheel to turn. I felt her joy and easing with my study and concern. And I owed her, showed her off to all my friends Repaired the hurts of years of years And let her sew again Hello and welcome back everybody So this is the Singer 115 And I wanted to show you, I have a coat of primer on her since she's an iron machine, I used a filler primer, and um, I wanted to show you. I went ahead and just took out that entire bottom shaft with the hook mechanism on it that was not going to come off the shaft, you know? Sometimes those things happen. And I was able to clean it, and it's over with my parts and everything. And at this point, I just primered her this morning, and I'm going to let this probably set just a little bit more. I'm going to come back with a very, very fine sandpaper sponge. Um, I have some of um, these little guys. They are a 2000 grit, and I think that that's pretty good for just smoothing out the primer and getting it nice and smooth and ready to, ready to paint. So once I take off anything so that it's, you know, baby, baby smooth here. And honestly, if I get this wet first, it would probably help me. Oh yeah. So um, I need to go ahead, wet sand this whole thing at the 2000 grit. And then I'm gonna be doing a pearl white with hollyhock images on her. So. Let me get her totally ready. Once I have um, just a very light wet sand done to, to smooth it out, I'm gonna come back with a cloth and a cleaner, um, you know, just to get any residual dust kind of stuff off of her and her parts. And then probably tomorrow, maybe even the next day, I'm gonna go ahead and give her her color. So what I'm gonna do is give her one, possibly two coats of a nice white enamel, glossy enamel, and then I'm going to come over that with a coat of pearl, a white pearl, to give her a little bit of shimmer, and let that set for a little bit, and then we're going to put the decals on. So first up first, let me get all of her prep done, and I'll see you once she is white. Okay, so I want you to see I have the first coat of the white enamel on her. And I'm probably going to put two, maybe even three coats. I'm not sure yet. So there's her, her wheel, belt guard, and way down there's the bobbin winder. Um, the paint that I'm using right now is the high performance enamel. And then once I'm done with that, the overspray, the overcoat, I guess I should call it, is going to be this uh, pearl mist. I love this paint. So. Let me go ahead and get out of here. I got the exhaust fan going, but it's still a bit painty in here. I've got my timer and my watch. Looks like I have another six and a half minutes or so before the next coat. I wait about 10 minutes in between coats so they can tack up a bit, and then I will proceed. All right, I just put the pearl coat on in there. Hang on, sorry. I almost had a disaster. I can't tell you exactly what, but it involved her. But anyway. Um, I put two coats of the white enamel and one coat of the pearl, so I'm letting that tack up for right now. And I wanted to show you, she is going to be a hollyhock theme. I'm going to put Mary Julia's Singer 115. Mary Julia is my great-grandmother's name. Her maiden name was McGurk. Her married name was Took, but she was always Mary Julia, so that's what I'm putting on. And so these are going to be on there soon but I'm not going to put them on until at least another day or so. But let me go ahead and go in and show you how the pearl looks. I really don't know if you can see on the camera the shimmer of the pearl. I love it. it it's literally a pearl. She looks exactly like a shimmery little pearl. 
Um, so basically this was two coats of the plain gloss enamel, one coat of pearl, and her wheel is also very pearl, her bobbin cover, I mean her belt guard, and her bobbin. So that is it for right now. I will be back shortly on your time and my time probably in a couple days and we'll put the decals on. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, my paint is dry and I hope you can see the pearl on her. She's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with decal work this morning. So I'm gonna be cutting these out. Um, I'm just gonna cut them, you know, very carefully to Within about a sixteenth of an inch of the color, I want to leave enough, oopsie, there, so that, you know, I'm not going to risk damaging the edge of the color. But just get them all cut out first, and then I can arrange them. Okay, so before I put my decals on, what I did quickly is I took my 2000 grit sandpaper sponge and very lightly just went over the surface just in case there's any little bumps or anything you know from the paint that I get that smoothed out. I am going to be clear coating over it so if it takes off a bit of the shine that's okay because the clear coat will bring it back. Um, and you don't hit it very hard. It's like literally paper or feather light but just let a little bit of this very very fine grit knock it down smooth. So, now I'm just going to get started. I'm going to show you, putting a few of them on, how I'm going to strategize this and then let you see the finished product. So there's only a few words that I have. I have a singer and I have my little uh, customized label here, which is probably going to go right here. This is a really hard place in general to fit a big um, decal because it's very curved. I don't know if you can see it's a very curved place but this is going to work really well there i'm going to try to make the entire bottom like a hollyhock garden okay here around the pillar but also on the base maybe have i have smaller ones that i can have coming off here and things like that so that is my goal so what i have is my little tray of water be better if it's warm, but honestly, I don't have a hot water heater over here, so it is cold. But I'm just gonna put in here, put my water slide decal, and these are with a clear backing, so um, hopefully, the pearl will show through the blank space. Once it is saturated, I'm gonna place it on the machine where it needs to go. Just let it sit here for just a moment until the uh, decal wants to start sliding off the backing paper. Okay, let's see here. You want to wait until it's sliding easily. So let me just dunk it one more time. I don't want to rush it. Rushing it is when cracks happen. Okay, so you can kind of see it's sliding off now. So let me place it where I want it to be, hold it in place, and pull my backing paper off here. All right, so once it is off, I'm just gonna smooth it out. If something was to be folded under and I don't see anything on this, um, I get a very small paintbrush, wet, and I can use, slip that underneath and unfold it. But once it is smoothed out to get a paper towel. I have a microfiber cloth here handy. So I'm just going to use that to smooth it out. I want to push any little bubbles or anything out from underneath it. Okay, if you can see how pretty that's going to be. I like that. I like that a lot. I'll do more flowers in just a moment, but I want to go ahead and get her little name tag on here so that then I can put flowers around it, you know? And the thing with the clear decals, they'll let your paint show through, but also you can layer them. So I can layer flowers on top of each other so that um, it, can look, it can look a lot fuller. Or, or if you have a blemish in your paint, you can sometimes disguise that with a cleverly placed decal. Okay, so you can see it's starting to slide off. I want to center it over the little stitch length 
position. And let me get a better angle here so it's flat. I think that looks pretty good. Go ahead and smooth it out. There you go. So <clears throat> I got to move my camera because I have it right here in my face so I can get a better uh, view of everything I'm doing. Let me put the rest of her decals on and I'll show you what she looks like. Good morning. This is the next day and I want to show you I sorry about that. I've had her in here with the heat. I've just turned it off because I'll be painting soon. And so her decals are completely dry. But what I need to do today, now that she's had plenty of time, um, is to go ahead and put a nice clear coat over her. So it's more important to put it on the machine because it has the decals, I guess, technically. I really don't need to on her wheel because it has several coats and it is nice and shiny the bobbin winder and the belt guard um, if they've got several coats of enamel and they are you know very hard and shiny but i might give it at least the belt guard a nice light coat anyway just so that it'll match the machine in shine um, the enamel has had probably about four days to dry at this point so i think that's gassed off and by getting this, the decals done yesterday, and then having it sit in the heat, because I had um, my little turntable here over closer to my heater and had her on all night. So she's nice and warm and toasty. The, uh, well, not hot, not hot. You don't want her hot, but she's warm and she's perfectly dry. You want to make sure all the water, residual water from behind the decals is gone before you clear coat. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so her clear coat is on. I did two coats, and I did use my diamond coat that I have been using quite regularly, and I think that that's going to be good. So I'm going to leave her in here. I got my exhaust fan on right now, but I'm going to, I did give a coat, you know, to these guys here too. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because I got my fumes out of here, put my heater back on, put her in a position where she can get some of that heat so that the clear coat can dry nice and hard. And I think that in a couple more days, she'll be ready to start putting back together. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I found an antique sewing machine, forgotten and alone. I touched her rusty wheel and knew I'd take her home. I brought her to my farm in an Amish neighborhood. Where simple living's valued, she'd be loved and understood. I put her on a treadle stand and coaxed her wheel to turn. I felt her joy and easing with my study and concern. I cleaned her and I owed her, showed her off to all my friends, repaired the hurts of years of yours. And let her sew again